another reason not to wander into creepy old Japanese villages? How about rivers of blood, crazy Amish zombies, and this Brundlefly clone? Yep, once again, an entire town has gone stark, raving, hee-haw on acid crazy. And only 10 people in the village remain uninfected. You'll experience the mystery and horror of Siren from the perspective of each of these characters, including this old man, this guy who's an a-hole. Please shut up. And this lady who's a tad on the whiny side. This sucks. I want to shower. Hey, don't let me stop you. Resident Evil 5 has now arrived with much anticipation and seems to have picked up the series' unfortunate tradition of refusing to evolve with the time. Resident Evil 5 returns to the main storyline for the first time since Resident Evil Zero, with Chris Redfield returning. He's on the hunt for bioterrorists in a fictional African country, and of course stumbles across the birthplace of the virus that has been causing all the trouble since Resident Evil 1. Far from Metal Gear Solid 4's satisfying plot wrap-up, Resident Evil 5's narrative quickly turns clumsy and slapdash. Embarrassingly telegraphed plot points lack punch, and silly dialogue robs the story of any resonance hoped for at the end of its 13-year run. Suck us! <laughs> And welcome to X Play's one millionth episode. I'm your host, Morgan Webb, and with me is Adam Sessler. It's Adam Sessler. Adam Sessler! I'm stealing my pies! Where am I? The show started. Oh. Can you believe that we have had one? million episodes of this show. Yep, I've been here for every single one of them. That's the spirit. You're almost done. You're almost done. <laughs>